Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the day of Friday, October the 18th, 2024. And as we step into this day, you might feel in a way that you're expanding in, a, in, in some form and you'll say, what kind of expansion? Is it mental? Is it emotional? Is it <laughs> something in my body? What is it? But just a feeling of just over overwhelming connection you can say with the universe do not doubt that do not doubt your intuition you'll get lots of epiphanies and thoughts and and even maybe ideas that you had all of a sudden they just pop up into your mind and you wonder what is going on with with your thought forms your thoughts really and you're all over the place just do not get overwhelmed because you'll still have your body to deal with and your daily life and your responsibilities and the practicalities that want to hold you back onto earth it's all coming together it's merging together so just trust that and that is why there's the most wisest you can say of the angels in a way not that the other angels are not wise but who comes forward for us to literally help us see what we're going through and expand our capacity or perception visually speaking both in your physical environment and your mental environment even and even your spiritual beings of light that are surrounding you and also the energetic forms that are surrounding you so you trust and you recognize and you realize which one is best for you and which serves you best and you will be served then you don't even have to really think in that way you just invite and you ask for the best and it will be shown to you and you will feel it in your heart. Why? Because he's holding his heart with golden flow of energy coming first and foremost towards you. So you can, you can do that. You can ask for something you're not sure about, you're insecure about, a place, a person, a situation, a decision, an activity, an empowerment that you want to bring up. A question that you've had that acts as a pattern that seems to go the other way. All of that. Just hold it close to your heart. Clairvoyance means basically clear seeing. The capacity of opening your spiritual sight. So you can see all the beings of light surrounding you. All the forms of light surrounding you. All the pathways and decisions you can take. Everything. Your Akashic records themselves you don't have to do some great ritual for that you just look and look into his face and ask the questions this day and remove that fear of contacting the akashic spaces that you're you're asking for something too tiny in in a very lofty library of heaven because many people do not receive what they deserve to dis, to to receive as answers, as knowledge, as empowerment, as method and and what your life purpose really is, your connection with others, your connection to a space, why you're faltering around and your karmic records also, all of them will sort out then. You don't have to think so much and try so hard. Let's put it that way. So first and foremost, just look at the archangel who has come forward for you. There's no need to understand his name this time. He's just there as your guide, as your friend, literally as the cushion that you can sit on and (laughs) merge with because his aura is glowing with the light. You can ask for that to now be part of your crown, your thoughts, how you approach this day, how you approach life, really. They just open my spiritual sight through my thoughts. I don't know about the visual capacity that I have, but let me just understand it from there and absorb it. And this beautiful golden and pink and white merging of light will come into your thoughts just breathe it in nothing else you have to do breathe it in 
And if you see his ears, they're so nicely taking in the light, understanding whatever it is that you need to understand. Whatever is confusing, whatever is making you falter around or pick up negativity and you recognize that negativity. Thought forms, expressions on other people's faces or your own. All that. Whatever does not work for you this day, send it straight first and foremost into this orb of light behind his crown. And then you will see that you're surrounded by love that is just growing and glowing and moving and changing and molding itself according to the way you need it. You just keep holding your hand to your heart even while you're doing all of this. See, again, you don't need any script for this. Feeling, trusting, being, and present, past, don't even think about that. Just hold your hand to your heart. Wherever it is that your focus goes, first and foremost, is where you need to see and understand as a priority. That's why he's holding the septo perception in his hand. This is literally to help you move, to help you heal, to help you change, to help you relax, to help you be, to help you express whatever it is that you choose to do. See how much you can do. Don't even think about it. You will just move with each one of these orbs of light. That's why he's holding them also for you, saying that you don't have to do any of this alone. Because remember that as powerful as Archangel Raziel is and all the angelic forces are and all the angelic forms are, they will never come forward without your asking. So this is the day also to, to connect with your guardian angel and deepen your connection with the guardian angel assigned to you, especially for you. That's how important you are. See that even, if nothing else. Just a holy symbol for you. What is it that describes you? A tree, a flower, the sunlight, waters, laughter, whatever. There will be seven expressions that will come forward for you today. And he's saying, I will help you discern and see and know what they are. People that you need to connect with and understand, again, a space, activity, and of course, life purpose. Go back to this scepter here, for sure. That I don't, don't understand where I'm headed or what I'm doing. How do I use my talents for? And you have a passion for something. Maybe it's writing, maybe it's dancing, maybe it's embroidery. I'm just giving you ideas. But you never use it because you never thought it's practical or that you can't put it into real life. Decide what real life is for yourself this day. And just brush away everything, clear away, replace with the light what does not serve you anymore. And you know it, it's baggage. You're just carrying it around as pain, as guilt, as unforgiveness, as anger. All forms of negative essences of life, negative emotions. And you're still carrying it around. Replace it this day. And if you see his wings, why are they shaped like that, coming towards him? Are they coming towards him or are they going out? Where are they going? You decide again how those rays of light are moving for you. That's why they're shaped that way. You absolutely are a co-creator with God and using the law of attraction to best effect for yourself by seeing what you want to see. So when it comes to the left wings, decide 
what no longer serves you. Lay the foundation for the present moment and ask the orb over your heart chakra to strengthen your feelings of positivity, of optimism, of hope, of courage, rising above all the problems that are so-called problems that you are trying to rise above. You will rise because immediately an answer, movement, how to work, who to work with, what kind of spirituality to adopt, what to understand about your mind, body and spirit at this time to help you move forward and the rays of light very much there pink and golden white very subtly moving along with them as bubbles of light even you might even see bubbles come up and chi balls again as if they're clearing away something like how you clear a dirty room. Same. You're coming back to who you need to be and are. And should be. And should enjoy being. Life should not be a struggle for you. All the time. You don't l- learn from struggling to do nothing but struggling. Struggling. Why do that to yourself? And asking for enjoyment is not being selfish. It's claiming back what is due to you. You just bring it back now, the graceful and heavenly fashion and way and method and flow. If you see the heavenly rays, you will flow along with them in the same manner, gracefully, And give yourself a power color here then, in this scepter of power. It's for power. It's for empowerment. And which one of your chakras calls out to you, again, don't question. And if it's a specific wish or desire you need to have more consistency with, yes, consistency with, ask what it is that is acting as an obstacle, whether it's self-created, whether it comes from the past, change that around this day. Don't feel like a victim in any way. And don't act defensive or tired or fatigued or drained out or questioning. Change all of that. Keep on looking back at the scepter. What is it that I need to heal right now to come back to a state of divine balance, hope and peace? Nice things to adopt, right? And as as you see his throat, this is where your words literally come in for you. Verbal, your inner voice is also arising this day, speaking to you. Your guardian angel is speaking to you as an inner voice. Trust that. You have the power to communicate. Perhaps you engage in conversations that you otherwise would not even consider getting into or speaking about those themes or matters or to people. This is not to take on arguments or cause pain to yourself or anyone else. It's to heal. It's to change. Yourself around, your environment, how you react, prayers, invocation, meditations, affirmations, all of those, they're all in these golden orbs of communication. You can even write it down. That doesn't mean that if it's in the throat, you can't write it down because... It's not a verbal form of communication. You speak to Archangel Raziel. But what it is that you need to know? Perhaps that's the only conversation you have this day. But at least try. 
and you'll, your creativity will flow. And Archangel Gabriel will also help you with that process. Then the vibration will be very different. Alive, excited, encouraged, hopeful. And if you see the robe he's wearing, it's a beautiful golden, white, pink, and magenta rays merged robe. Very much held by the wings on the left side, bringing in all that does not serve you, that has been changed and transformed around now and is moving towards the present moment, is expressing itself, you are finding yourself changing and rising and becoming a different person. And you recognize the beauty of life more than anything else. And then as you see his, the right side of his robe, which carries your wishes, your future. It's very much in secure hands. Any insecurity you have about that, any obstacles or delays that have happened thus far, negativity, fatigue or tiredness, where you felt blocked or held back, desires and dreams that you've just pushed aside because you just thought they were insurmountable, the problems. They will come back into your being, your consciousness, and yes, very much, your environment. You'll have the capacity to understand what to do with the law of attraction because Archangel Raziel will help you literally imagine, see, idealize, feel, recognize, know, and even perhaps remember in some cases what it is that you had pushed aside. What it is that you decided that you were not good enough for or not deserving enough of. And you're just sitting there miserable when you want to express and when you want to be loved. First and foremost, bring that sense of love and security. There are beings and beings of light just holding you and saying you're just precious just the way you are. First and foremost, recognize that. You're deserving of all the good, everything. Whatever comes up in whatever way, in whatever realm of life, love. First and foremost, be be and feel loved. And see that beautiful canopy of stars behind you and adopt a star for a purpose and put it up there and ask Archangel Raziel to help you keep it shining. That's your star of your fulfilled wish and name your wish, whatever it is. It's a vacation. It's a family member you want to see. It's a home you want to buy. It's a book you want to write. It's a song you want to sing. Whatever. And just keep looking at these words throughout this message. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken. Why? So you feel empowered. So you recognize how much potential and how much of heaven walks and works with you and through you this day through your spiritual sight, your capacity to see and understand symbols, colors, the visual capacity to create, to bring forward. And all your spiritual guides are there with you and giving you maybe even action steps to do, activities to engage in, all visual, literally putting together a recipe in the kitchen, maybe a candle prayer, Again, with the scepter of power this time. An incense stick that we often think of more as aromatic than, and we don't even pay attention to the way 
The smoke is moving. It is totally up to you how you choose to use this. He's just there shining with the light saying, Dear child, I'm right there with you, holding you, guiding you, helping you. So do not in any way feel afraid or limited or lacking. Just trust, surrender all your concerns and they will become wishes come true. So keeping it very simple for this day, this is your message. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken, dear child, fully, so you can clearly see heavenly love. And as this comes to, this comes from Marius, Michael, George's artwork. And Marius can be reached at capital M, A R I U S, capital F I N E, and capital A R T, MariusFineArt.com. You shine with the light now. And you extend the light the way you're meant to and enjoy it. The universe is waiting for your light to shine now and for you to recognize it and remember it. Love, light, harmony, peace, happiness in every way waits for you to embrace your heart and be loved all together in every way. And this comes... From the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And this is Tina, signing off for now. Enjoy your clairvoyance and awaken your spiritual sight in every way that is beneficial to you. Body, mind, heart, embrace, ask, enjoy. Enjoy.